So I've spoken about how to increase testosterone levels as high as possible naturally. Now let's take a look at how to increase androgen receptor density in the human body. So first of all, what are androgen receptors? Androgen receptors are a type of nuclear receptor that are activated by the androgenic hormones, mainly testosterone and dihydrotestosterone. Nuclear receptors in a biological context are proteins contained in the cell that, when activated, signal to the cell to perform certain functions like up or down regulate growth processes, increase or decrease energy expenditure, begin apoptosis or cell division and so forth. In simple terms, receptors act as lock and key mechanisms where a very certain key open a very specific lock. The androgens are specifically made by the body to fit into the androgen receptors, which then cause changes in the body. Now, how do these androgen receptors actually work in the human body? When testosterone or DHT bind to the androgen receptor, many genes are activated within the target cell. On a macro scale, this manifests as sexual differentiation. We got beard growth, thick bones, a strong jawline and brow ridge, bigger muscles and less fat, especially around the midsection, increased motivation for sports and intense physical activity, more stability and comfort in diverse social situations and conflict, and interest in sexual activity. On a micro scale, this can be seen in inhibition of stress-induced death of neurons, increases in muscle protein synthesis, and the other signaling substances involved with anabolism, increases in basal metabolic rate, lowering fat mass, activation of the production of red blood cells, and blocking of the actions of estrogen and aromatase. Now here's a crazy fact about androgen receptors that you probably weren't aware of. So this study's titled Muscle Androgen Receptor Content But Not Systemic Hormones is associated with resistance training induced skeletal muscle hypertrophy in healthy young men. So they noted that intramuscular androgen receptor content but neither circulating nor intramuscular hormones or the enzymes regulating their intramuscular production influence skeletal muscle hypertrophy following RET in previously trained young men. Now here's an obvious way to increase androgen receptor activity in the human body. So let's take a look at this study. It's titled High Load Resistance Exercise Augments Androgen Receptor DNA Binding and Beta Catenin Signaling Without Increases in Serum Muscle Androgens or Androgen Receptor Content. The authors noted that in response to resistance training, androgen receptor DNA binding was significantly increased three hours after exercise whereas low load training did not result in any changes in androgen receptor DNA binding. So keep in mind that high load full body exercise increases the effect your androgen receptors have on your DNA. It turns out the simplest way to increase your ARs is to just exercise intensely. Guys, listen up. I'm sure you're aware of the importance of personalization when it comes to optimizing your health. That is why I'm offering a free 15 minute boost your biology strategy session with a senior member of my team where we'll chart out a personalized plan for success so that you stop guessing when it comes to different supplements, diets, training, and lifestyle strategies. So be sure to check that link out in the video description down below. Now there is indeed hope if you have low testosterone and low androgen receptor density. This study is titled Fighting Experience Alters Brain Androgen Receptor Expression Dependent on Testosterone Status. What they basically noted was, there is hope if you have low testosterone and low androgen receptor density, simply stacking wins in your life has significant effects on the expression of the androgen receptor. Now let's have a look at an incredibly potent androgenic food that you probably weren't aware of. So this study is titled, Oyster Peptide Prevents the Occurrence of Exercise Hypogonadal Male Condition by Improving the Function of Pituitary Gonadal Axis in Male Rats. So they basically noted that conversely, when oyster peptide was supplemented at heavy load training, sperm count, sperm viability, and sperm motility in epididymis, serum, FSH, LH, testosterone, GSHPX, superoxide dismutase, testosterone, androgen receptor in testis and mating times were dramatically increased, while testicular MDA capture latency and mating latency were significantly decreased. Now let's have a look at how everyone is currently destroying their androgen receptor density without even realizing. Now this is a commonly used medication that we see many individuals using to relieve pain and reduce um, any sort of pain signaling in the human body. 
So this study is titled, Ibuprofen Alters Human Testicular Physiology to Produce a State of Compensated Hypogonadism. So basically, the ubiquitous pain medication ibuprofen causes hypogonadism. This study shows that ibuprofen use results in selective transcriptional repression of endocrine cells in the human testes. Keeping androgens high is also important for the androgen receptors. Now let's have a look at what keeps these androgen receptors working sufficiently and optimally. So this study is titled Mechanism of Androgen Receptor Augmentation, Analysis of Receptor Synthesis and Degradation by the Density Shift Technique. Now the authors of this study noted that androgen-induced androgen receptor augmentation is explained by an increase both in receptor half-life and in rates of receptor synthesis. Now keep in mind that one of the main mechanisms for keeping the ARs working is simply using them. Now let's have a look at a potent supplement something known as L-carnitine that I've personally used over the years to upregulate androgen receptor density. Now this study is titled Androgenic Responses to Resistance Exercise, Effects of Feeding and L-carnitine. The key takeaways from this study was that feeding or eating after a workout compared to drinking water increases androgen receptor content, which may result in increased testosterone uptake and thus enhanced luteinizing hormone secretion and that L-carnitine supplementation upregulated androgen receptor content, which may promote recovery after resistance exercise. Now let's spice things up a little bit and have a look at a particular compound known as capsaicin, which is what makes peppers spicy, which has also been found to directly increase the expression of androgen receptors. Let's take a look at this study here. Capsaicin, a component of red peppers, induces expression of androgen re receptor via PI3K and MAPK pathways in prostate LNK cells. Moving on to caffeine, which is always controversial. Although caffeine is quite controversial, it seems to have similar effects to capsaicin on androgen receptor expression. Now this study is titled, Chronic Caffeine Intake Increases Androgenic Stimuli, Epithelial Cell Proliferation and Hyperplasia in Rat Ventral Prostate. In this study, rats were given caffeine chronically, and when looking at the prostate, found that it increased androgenicity across the board. Now let's have a look at a strangely clear study. This study is titled, Rapid Increase in the Number of Androgen Receptors Following Electrical Stimulation of the Rat Muscle. What they noted on this study is that rats, when their muscle was stimulated electrically, showed significant increases in muscle mass and androgen receptor density after multiple days. Consistently exercising is a critical component of raising and maintaining the count and function of the androgen receptors. So here are the key points. Androgen receptors work by the use it or lose it principle, which means that anything that raises and maintains high levels of androgens will raise androgen receptor density and activity. Eating oysters, spicy food, and drinking coffee are some specific foods to raise androgen receptor density and activity. Movement, especially high intensity hard training, is a surefire way to boost the androgen receptors. Carnitine combined with exercise has positive effects beyond each of them alone. So that pretty much wraps up today's video on increasing androgen receptor density. If you have any questions about this particular topic, leave it down below. Let's get a discussion going. And if you do enjoy my content, please do consider joining trtfree.com. Go to that website and join that testosterone optimization protocol. That is something that I've developed to support men in boosting their testosterone levels as high as possible naturally. So that's trtfree.com. Be sure to check that out. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.